Good morning, everybody. It's Deb again from Deb's Cool Finds. Um, I'm so glad you could join me and Sleeping Beauty. That's Bella. Um, she uh, went from, we went for our walk this morning again, so accountability, yay. Um, it is um, five weeks. It'll be six weeks on Monday, so yay. We're sticking to our plan, which is great. And you guys are keeping me honest on that one, but it does poop her out. So if you like her little heart she's got on her back i just love that anyway that's what made me actually pick her out of the litter um we were at a um movie on christmas day um it's going to be 13 years this christmas 13 years ago and we got the pictures of the litter that uh, they had just had the pups and i saw that little heart on her booty she was the tiniest i wanted a girl so we got her it was a friend of my daughter's um that's uh their puppy had uh, had a litter so um, we got her that way and um, she's just the best dog ever except for the barking if any of you have stop barking tips for dogs please let me know um, I know it's you're not supposed to be able to teach an old dog new tricks but hopefully I can get her to stop some of that barking um, if you give me some tips so greatly appreciated if you haven't been with me before, uh, my name is Deb and um, I'm in the DFW area and I um, have done Timu hauls, Dollar Tree hauls. I'm trying to think of other things to do. I also do travel stuff because I adore cruising and um, traveling of any kind. So I have a bunch of videos on travel that you could check out on my channel if you are so inclined. I normally travel carnival. Um, I've done one Norwegian cruise, but that was before I was videotaping anything, so I really can't show anything on that. Um, I think I have another trip we're going to be planning shortly with my parents and my son, uh, adult son. Um, but if that one fails to evolve, um, I normally will take a trip around my birthday, which is the 1st of December. So I'll have more travel videos for you and maybe some travel tip videos. Um, I want to do a um, cabin door decoration video for y'all, but today, more Timu. So <laughs> I have another Timu video and um, I hope you will like it. It is a small one. I normally stick to their $20 um, minimum order. Um, I use my own money and that is quite limited. So... I want to keep the videos going, but I only purchase stuff that I actually want, need, and um, can afford, um, and that I will use. So I'm not just going out and buy, making Timu purchases so that I have videos. That's not the purpose of what I do. Um, it's just that I was already purchasing from there. I saw <laughs> she moved. I saw other people doing the hauls and I thought I would try my hand at it and see if maybe I could help you all make decisions on your purchases from Timu. If you have hi for some reason I seem to have lost my um audio recording on this so I apologize for that and like on a previous one where I had to narrate somebody commented that it was like watching um, a dubbed foreign film so here we go again I think I was telling you at this point again um, about the price adjustments on a Timu show if you haven't heard of that before if you have I'm sorry I'm gonna repeat it but price adjustments I do multiple times during the day I go check for them Timu does almost all the work for you all you have to do is go on the app and go down to where on the bottom it should say you when you click on that it should show you your orders click on your orders and then um, you will see a bunch of different options. It'll say review an item, refund an item, etc. If you see request a price adjustment as one of your options, click on that. It will show you the item that you originally purchased. It will show you the original purchase price. And then it will show you um, the uh, new price, the amount that, you know, the new price that has been uh, adjusted to. And then it will show you the difference. When you click on receive it in a Timu credit, you will automatically get that difference in the pricing. 
and it will be credited to your Timu account for you to use on a future order. And this can happen multiple times during the day. It can happen, you can do this up to 30 days after you initially place the order. You can do it on an order in any status. You know, as soon as you click that ordered button, you can start checking for price adjustments. You can have received the order. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as it's within 30 days of your purchase date. Um, you can get price adjustments. The other thing um, to know about Timu is it is free shipping. Um, also, it is 90 day free returns. I have had to return items um, for different reasons, mostly a couple didn't work or something like that. And then um, you just click on that order again, you click on the item, you say return an item, uh, then you click on the item you're returning, uh, you say why you're returning it, and then you ask, as I do, uh, for a Timu credit and it'll instantaneously give you the credit. And so far, I have not had to return any items that I've actually gotten a refund for. They say just keep the item. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to start going into this bag, hopefully soon. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> it's like, you can see I'm totally disturbing Bella by my jabbering on as she is completely asleep there in my guest room. She's made a mess out of that bed. Um, but I've also, I'll be releasing another uh, little video, probably before you see this one, actually, you would already have seen that video. So remember, um, if you have watched that video, remember about the free gifts that you can receive. Um, uh, well, you supposedly can receive on Timu, so I am playing the games to see if that actually works. So far, I haven't got to the point where I um, have enough I've played the game enough to win any of the prizes yet, but it's Fishland, F-I-S-H-L-A-N-D, one word, and Farmland, F-A-R-M-L-A-N-D, one word. So they're two different games. You can win two different prizes per game. Um, I picked out some expensive items, so hopefully um, I will get through on those games, but they just kind of make it a little harder to achieve the specific goals in the game the longer you play it. So they're kind of, you know, resisting giving you um, the amounts, the, the items. But um, I, if you can see on here, I'm wearing my new mic from Timu. So I am very concerned with why it died so quickly into my Timu haul. So um, I'm going to be investigating that mic further and I might have, I will have an update on you if it's something I did incorrectly or if that mic doesn't work well enough um, for it to be used in my videos. Um, got a little allergy issue going on there, sorry about that. But uh, you know, with our walks in the mornings, really uh, getting out into nature, so my allergies bother me a little more than normal. Um, if I ever open up this bag, here we go. Come on Deb, stop talking and show us what you bought. Um, okay, so I cannot see the prices, but I will link them all below in the description box. This is a water bottle holder. I was thinking about this for the cruises that I go on. Um, even if, you know, I were to take a longer walk or, or attempt hiking at all. It's a mesh bag. Um, it's got a little pocket on it also where you could put something else you wanted to carry with you in that pocket. Um, it's got an adjustable long um, handle on it, so you can put it over your shoulder, crossbody, however you want to work it. It does not fit the Stanley dupe cups, and I think I show myself attempting to put it in one of those into there, um, because those are thinner at the bottom, and then they get really wide, so it did not fit that. Um, I did borrow one of my sons, he accidentally left it at my house, a water bottle of his that's one, you know, straight up and down bottle, and it fit in there perfectly. So there's the extra pocket. You could put maybe, I don't know if you could put your phone in because it's going to form that bag around, you know, the roundness of your water bottle. So I don't know if it would hold that, but I'll be trying it on, like I said, on my cruise, um, just because I don't always like to have the holding something in my hands, especially if I'm going cruise duck hunting. 
So, um, you know, I want my hands free so I can be finding things. But the snap worked really well on it. It was a nice, heavy-duty kind of a mesh. It wasn't flimsy. Um, the handles, like I said, looked great. So here I am trying to put my, um, that's not a Stanley Cup, it's some other kind I got from one of my previous jobs. But as you see, it won't fit that one because it gets wider as the cup goes, you know, goes up. So it really didn't fit that one. Um, but it did fit uh, my son's, um, you know, bottle that was one size from top to bottom. So that's a purchase that I am glad that I made. And I think that will work out perfectly for my cruises. And like I said, any other instances where I might need my water bottle with me. I don't like using plastic water bottles. So I try and keep, you know, my Stanley with me or... Or some other kind of a water bottle um, let's see where we're going now um, okay I can't quite see I think that price says 397 297 something I'm not quite sure um, three something um, but let's see what this item is uh, I'm explaining why I need it, but until I see the item, I can't quite tell you why I needed it. So this is very awkward, um, but like I said, I've already unpacked that bag and thrown away all the papers, so I can't really redo the haul. So unfortunately, um, this narration will have to suffice for this one. And before I throw anything away from in my next hauls, I'll need to double check that my sound was working so I'm glad that I at least found that out in here um, I'm trying to see what that is in that bag so I can discuss it oh, Miss Bella moved a whole inch there she's such a sleepy head okay now I know what's in the bag that is a soldering iron um, I do have lots of tools. My dad taught me very well, and um, I have a giant toolbox full of any kind of tools that I think I will need. I even have, you know, power sanders and drills and all kinds of things. So, um, but I do not have a soldering iron. And I saw these sandals, um, these glitzy, blingy sandals online. I think it was on Facebook or something, and I wanted them, but they were too much money. So I am an eBay seller, so I thought, why don't I check eBay? And I found them for so much less money, but one of the little chains was not attached. So I need a soldering iron, I think, to fix it. So I was showing you that it's got an on and off button there. Um, it You can adjust the temperature. It's got a fine point to it. Um, it does plug into the wall. Uh, so there I'm showing you that it does all different degrees to it. Um, yeah, it's 110 volts, 60 watts, and um, a nice plug-in. But I thought I could do a little soldering and connect that one chain back to where it's supposed to be. Um, unfortunately, um, using that product, um, it, and I did a review in another video later, but... Um, it did not work. It did not melt the uh, little soldering wires or sticks, whatever they're called, um, that I purchased right there. Um, it did not, and those are like the lightest ones or the littlest ones that I could find, and it just did not work. So unfortunately, I did return the soldering iron and those wires. Uh, they told me not to send them back, to just keep them, so they're in my possession and I might at a further time try one more if I can find very inexpensive soldering um, sticks or whatever they're called if I can find those again inexpensive that are maybe even thinner I might try it again but uh, unfortunately I was saddened by that so if you have a resolution to how I might make uh, those sandals get back together again without soldering them I would appreciate learning about that down in my comments so it was very inexpensive um, I think that let me see the soldering iron was three dollars and 47 cents and the wires or the bars 
or one dollar and ninety eight cents so it was a you know an inexpensive purchase I knew I wasn't getting the world's best soldering iron but I had hoped that it would work for me and unfortunately it did not and I didn't want to send the sandals back just for that one little piece that I'm sure I will eventually figure out a way to repair that so we'll we'll see how uh, crafty I can get on that I am wearing my Timu necklace also in this video which I adore um, so yeah so far I have loved their jewelry um, not sure what I'm looking at now but hopefully I will show us momentarily and we can get on with this video sorry that was my phone um let's see oh i think the oh yeah these this is what it is those are sandals and i adore them they're so different so summery and cute and what happened was i again was on facebook saw a facebook ad uh, for chic me sandals and i think it was shoe dazzle and it was these sandals and they were I believe $29.99 and I was like I'm not gonna pay $29.99 for them and then it, the light bulb went off in my head that I have seen chic me brands on Timu so I went on to Timu and I went into the search bar and I searched for you know chic me sandals and I found these sandals and I was so excited. I think originally they, yes, they were eight eighty seven, dollars um, But then I was refunded a couple price adjustments. I think two or three or more. Um, and it's, they're all the way down to like $4.40 or something at this point. So unbelievable price on a $29.99 pair of sandals that I saw someplace else and I found on Timu. So just a little tip, if you happen to see something like that, you, you recognize a brand name you've seen on Timu, go ahead and search Timu for it. Um, another choice is, again, if you see something you really like out there in the world and it's too much money, check, check your resellers, check eBay, check Poshmark, check Mercari, check any of them and you might find somebody selling it for a lot less money which is always useful especially in these times that we're having right now where everything is so expensive I can't believe when I go to the store how much money everything is costing that didn't cost that much just a short time ago so I'm talking about my rings um, I have purchased a lot of rings at um, Timu and so far I've only had one that went bad so um, and what what I mean by that is I wear them all the time I shower in them I walk in them I do everything and one of them changed colors um, there's another one on my ring finger um, I don't know if I show it but it's a blue colored stone but it's rubbing up against my um, real sterling silver ring it's on the opposite hand that you're seeing now um, and that side of it is discolored so I think it's because of the rubbing because the other side is not discolored I don't think it's be, you know it wouldn't happen if those circumstances weren't like that with my rings because I wear a lot of rings and I don't take them off but um, these are earrings I got and I love to travel so look at those they said explore and they are the cutest little things they are lightweight as can be they're a metal um, the backs are plain they come on a little hook kind of a earring style hanger um, just remember also which I think I talk about in here is in the bags that the earrings come in they don't ever attach the um, little plastic backers to the earrings so they're just floating in those little clear plastic bags and and you miss them I've heard other haulers say the same thing they just forget they're in there and they miss it there's my Bella um, and so just if you want those backs if you don't have extras on your own and you really want those back just make sure you don't lose them out of those tiny little plastic bags um, I happen to have a whole stash of those kind of backs um, so it doesn't bother me if I happen to lose one but I don't do it on purpose you can also buy uh, a large pack of those backs on Timu 
so if you lose them but this is another pair um, and um, what is it I can't read it on this because my screen is not going perfect oh it takes take me far away so they're little airplanes again extremely lightweight same kind of a hook uh, to go on your ear um, they do not have the painting on the back so I'm showing you there it's just plain gold on the back and then the front is that gorgeous little blue and white color to it and they're thin uh, but I think with the white they're still going to be noticeable when you wear them and I just thought they were adorable and I'll be wearing them when I travel I'm very sad because I think I have one more item left in my bag and it's always the saddest part of my video is when I have to leave you all um, okay um, here's what I forgot um, I'm checking so the um, globe earrings were a dollar eighteen the airplanes were a dollar seven now I think the next item might be my magnets um, I've traveled carnival 20 something cruises and the cabin walls inside your cabin are metal um, in your bathroom like the door is metal um, your main cabin door is metal there's usually a metal panel outside of your door um, so it's very easy to decorate your cabin doors which you'll see lots of people do and I've now become one of those weird people so um, I love to decorate my door some people do it because they buy the drink package and that's one of the easier ways to find their room after reaching their 15 drink limit for the day <laughs> but um, it's really cute to go down the halls and see all the decorations but um, so I've purchased these hooks I'm hoping they work well and they they come I think it's the second one that I've purchased and this one came all together the other one came where I just had to screw the hook into the holder but you can hang all your decorations outside of your cabin with these hooks you can use them inside your cabin for things like you know if you want to hang a hat up there if you want to hang your pajamas for the evening um, I hang my um, I use my take my sign and sale card I put it in a lanyard which I wear around my neck and then I like to hang that um, near the door so that I always remember to take my key with me um, so yeah because I don't want to have to go down to guest services and say I locked myself out of my cabin which just would be embarrassing so I don't want to have to do that so I hang that there I'll hang some light evening purses on that um, you, I mean anything I can hang the accessories I bring for my camera like I have a waterproof bag and I can hang that on there it's just another way to make more use of your cabin as far as storage um, when I travel alone it's not an issue when I travel with one other person not an issue usually uh, this next cruise I'm taking there'll be three of us in a cabin and so storage um, might get a little more tight and like I said bulky things like hats and you, know, you could hang your belts on there um, some people bring those um, shoe bags you know those hanging shoe bags and they'll hook that onto their bathroom door on the inside and then they'll put all of their bath needs in there you know you put your little shampoos in there and your shavers or um, any other things that you might need in your bathroom not taking up the counter space uh, you could put in that bag I've never had enough stuff to use one of those but there's an idea um, the bathrooms usually you know you've got your sink space and then there's always three two or three uh, glass shelves on each side of the mirror um, that you can use for your items and they always have a little railing around them which is cute but in case you get any kind of rockiness your stuff's not going to fly all around the bathroom um, they do also supply shampoo and conditioner in your showers they've got one of those you know push button containers uh, to dispense that for you if you don't want to bring your own I just happen to like my own better Miss Bella is pretending like she's not paying attention but I just saw her eyes open it's usually when I mention her name <laughs> so, and um, she's always guarding out of that window unfortunately that's not our yard I'm in a townhouse so <laughs> that's anybody can be out there but she seems to think that's our yard so um, anyway oh and that's her crate and the only reason she has that crate I trained her in them when she was younger a bit but 
that crate is for when she's insecure, um, you know, or anything. She can go in there and hide. Or if I have, like, a handyman or somebody come over, I put her in there. People are afraid of her, even though, yeah, there's no real need. Um, so anyway, I'm just asking you, um, please, out of the kindness of your heart, if you could give a thumbs up to this video, um, you know, a like. Um, if you could subscribe, if you feel that you enjoy my content and you want to hear more of it, that would be amazing. Um, I'm trying to get my subscriber bump up, and so any help from y'all would be appreciated. If you also like it and you think somebody else might like it that you know, please share um, hit the share button and, and spread this out into the, you know, you, YouTuber verse, whatever. Um, and then, uh, leave your comments below. I love your comments. I love reading them. I'm always, you know, when I get a notification, there's a new comment, I get all excited. So please comment. And some of you I'm getting to know you've been on here a while. Um, so it's really nice to see the same people come on here and comment. It's like, you know, you're my, my friends now and it's, it's awesome. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Um, I do have, I put it in down below in my description. Please click on there. I have a, um, affiliate link that will take you to Timu. And I also have an affiliate code now. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but they gave me this code. And I think it gives you some either coupons or a discount or something. And it also helps out my channel um, so that I can continue to do these hauls. So if you would please use that link and that code, uh, help yourself out and help me out um, at no cost to you. None of, none of that changes any Timu prices or anything, nothing like that. They're never going to do that. But um, if you please would do that, to be so kind, I would appreciate it. Um, and like I said, spread the news. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, we are still doing our walks. We're walking every morning, like 6 or 6.30 in the morning. Uh, so it's nice and cool for Bella and her paws. And um, that's it for me. So have a wonderful day. I am so thankful to you all for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, you have lots of choices and you chose me to watch this video. If you made it to the end, love you all. And um, again, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I, I thank you all. This is, uh, this is amazing. I'm having so much fun doing this and I hope you're having fun watching it. Um, and I hope you enjoy seeing my Bella in these and um yeah she's my she's my sweetie there she is <laughs> she says goodbye <laughs> she says thanks for watching bye y'all love ya those are the sandals on me i love them that's the water bottle of my son so you see it does work there's my bella it works much better in that type of a bottle so yeah, that's going to be an awesome addition to my cruise stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye, guys. Make it a great day.